Baidu has released a vision language family of models, which not only seems quite good on benchmarking, but also the name checks out. So first I'm going to tell you what this Qian Fan name stands for. Qian Fan is Mandarin Chinese and its literal meaning is a thousand sails, which is a poetic image of countless boats setting out across the water. In Chinese literature, this symbolizes massive momentum, exploration and progress, which it seems fits the model's goal of powering many multimodal applications. Qian Fan VL is a family of multimodal LLMs built to read images, documents, charts and even math diagrams and then reason about them like a competent assistant. We are going to install it locally, the 8 billion variant, as it comes also in 3 billion and 70 billion sizes with a 32k token context window. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So what exactly is this Jian Fan model? This model, as I said, is quite business oriented. So you can do OCR, document understanding, VQA, charts, math, and so much more with it. If you look at its architecture, it's quite interesting, but I'm going to tell you later on. For now, let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. And I have one GPU card in VTRTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Meanwhile, our Conda environment is created. Let me install a lot of prerequisites because it's a vision model. So we would need not only transformers, torch, torch vision, and a lot of other stuff. And this, that is going to take a bit of a time. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce and you will find their link in video's description. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model after specifying some of the functions which they have shared. This is just a pre-processing of the images where we are converting the image to the proper coordinates and also setting their various properties as you can see and this is all shared by in their model card and I'm just loading the model from there on and the model is being downloaded as you can see and while that downloads let's talk a bit more about its architecture in simple words so architecturally it's a classic three block VLM first an intern vision tra uh, vision transformer based vision encoder that does dynamic tiling of high resolution inputs and then we have a lightweight two layer mlp adapter that projects vision features into language space third a language backbone and they are using llama 3.1 that is very strange no quen here because normally i've seen i uh, you know n most of chinese labs using quen but they have opted for a very older version of Meta's Llama, which is Llama 3.1 for um, 8 billion and 70 billion variants. But hang on, for 3 billion, they use Quen 2.53 billion. And it uses GQA attention or grouped query attention and RMS norm. So grouped query attention where um, multiple heads are grouped and then they have their own KV cache, which reduces, of course, the memory footprint. There are a lot of other details around um, their architecture. For example, in you know, they also use modular vision transformer plus tiny projector plus strong LLM. And it is all stitched together, as you can see in this diagram. And then it has been progressively trained for robust OCR heavy multimodal reasoning. So for some reason, I see that there is a very heavy focus on optical character recognition. And that is what I'm going to test it out after we get it installed which should be done by now and the model is downloaded as you can see let's jump right into OCR first up I'm going to give it this image where we not only have English text but also various other languages including Arabic, Chinese, Hindi and some Russian I believe and also 
um, some of the other European languages. So let's check it out. I'm providing the path to this image from my local system. And then this is a prompt template where you need to put this tag and then whatever you want it to do. So I am asking it to extract the text from this image and also identify the languages. Let's run it. And the response from the model looks pretty good to me. If I visually check, for example, this Russian and Hindi and even Arabic, I think they are not bad at all. Yep. Maybe Arabic has a couple of mistakes, but other than that, I think it's not bad at all. I'm not even sure if it is multilingual. Normally, I have seen that Baidu's models are bilingual, but this one even has done good job with a lot of European languages, even some of Russian. Hindi and Arabic doesn't seem that well to me, but Chinese looks okay. And then it has also detected all the languages. So I'm just going to check. Yep, it has detection is pretty good. I'm not sure what is okay. So Turkish is there too. Okay, cool. Let's check the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming over 45, close to 46 gig of VRAM. VRAM is a bit higher for an 8 billion parameter model. Next up, let's do a chart analysis. So I'm just going to give it this chart, uh, which has some of these graphs, some x axis, y axis values around seconds per page and then view of the tooling on the horizontal axis. Let's see what it can do here. And there you go. So the model has come back with the analysis. I'll just put it here, maybe a little bit more. It is telling us that the bar chart compares processing speed, which is correct. And you see it has done seconds per page, whereas this is just sec per page. So it is quite intelligent too for four document processing tools across three hardware platform three hardware platforms and there are four tools and it has done some key observation and then it has also identified all the colors which have been used very nice and the conclusion is that l4 gpu offers the best performance across nearly all tools with the largest acceleration observed on marker workload cool okay so that is I would say um, okay in terms of you know overall but there are a few mistakes which I can see especially around this orange line but all in all I would say that it has done pretty well here in the next one I'm going to give it an invoice and in this invoice I'm asking it if the billing postcode is similar to what we have for the servicing one so you see both are different uh, the state seems to be one but suburb is different let's check it out so i'm just going to go here and this is a question i'm asking from this local image then model was fairly quick to give the answer it says that they are different the billing address is this and the servicing address is different so that is pretty good i would say so all in all you can see not only the tabular data the invoice data the ocr seems pretty good to me I could test it on and on, but I think I'm quite satisfied with the performance of the model. It also comes into 70 billion, which I think would be real good suited for enterprise use cases. So try it out. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would become a member, that would really support the channel. Thank you.